myself, walk me to one world I've been honestly torn to hell Feeling trouble, no one can Draw us up all in the same kind of bell If we had a break up last weekend Say the break up just to be friends I would not come in the best sense I would not not fight for you I thought we took it slow anymore I'm hard to break without you can't stop thinking about you When it comes to this week, um, I'm not really sure how it's going to go um, whatsoever. Uh, Planning-wise, uh, it's really hard to kind of know and navigate what this week will look like, mostly because we have Thanksgiving, uh, a lot of family stuff, a lot of you know friend stuff, um, and it's also a really good time to make videos because there are a lot of people who are off of college, off school, off work. Uh, and so it's a really good time to kind of work in this way. Um, this is kind of the first holiday season where I've fully been committed to making content. Um, so it's a really interesting thing to navigate for me. Uh, just one recording everything and also making TikToks on its own. Um, either way, I'm still going to be trying my very best to uh, do so. Uh, TikTok today changed their terms and agreements for missions and brand deals. Uh, they're making it to where you can have contracts with different companies. Um, I'm not sure what that will look like uh, or what that means, but I am very curious to see what differences they've made. Um, so that was something that happened today. And then uh, I did make a TikTok. It was an audio from an uh, old movie from like 2002, uh, but it's a funny audio and I thought it was, you know, it's a pretty uh, entertaining thing as so I used it. But that's like all I've done this week has just been that one TikTok, uh, so far at least, um, which it's only Saturday, so this is the beginning of everything. But uh, I look forward to seeing how this week turns out. Uh, I'm off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so that's three days, it's kind of like a staycation, three day staycation. Uh, and I really hope to be able to creatively spend a lot of time here uh, and working on some things. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. On Monday, I believe I'm working uh, 3 to 11, but both days uh, are actually pretty nice. I like having, uh, you know, like working a late shift and I think that's really better for me just as a person. So I'm pretty excited to see what this week looks like. Um, mission wise, TikTok wise, YouTube wise, Instagram wise, and everything. Um, my views have dropped significantly in comparison. Uh, I'm not really sure why TikTok has been promoting missions to me. Uh, they've been putting my videos and saying, oh, you should promote this video and it'll get more views, which is really frustrating because as we all saw last week, TikTok pushed all of my videos for free when I was trending. Um, and so now they're, they're you know, holding my views behind a barrier and saying, pay this money and you'll get views again. Um, the only thing I've heard from other creators uh, about this is like, uh, I think it was this one guy on TikTok who said, I've made TikToks and they've blown up and then I'd get like really bad views. Like, don't just give up. Like, TikTok is holding them off from you, but like, if you're getting videos that blow up, people enjoy you and they like what you're doing. And so keep posting and keep trying and eventually, you know, you will build a following that will see you beyond that barrier that TikTok has built. Um, even TikTokers who have millions of followers are like that. And, you know, that is one flaw about TikTok that I don't like at all. And I think it's very frustrating. But, you know, that's the one thing about, you know, YouTube is that you know, you can go from TikTok to here and you can genuinely see me, you know, and 
I don't know what content would look like without TikTok. I don't know what content would look like without Instagram or YouTube. Genuinely, this series would not be a thing without TikTok. And so, you know, it's a very give and take site for me because I get paid from it. I get views from it. Uh, I get content out of it and I make content on it. And so it's a very interesting like push and pull or push and pull of something that, you know, it really is just crazy to me how, how it works. Tonight is Friendsgiving, so I will probably be pretty late before I get home, um, but not too late because I'm very tired. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, but I just kind of wanted to sit down and you know talk about what I'm feeling right now uh, and what I expect this week to look like. I'm really tired, um, but there's a few things to talk about. Uh, the past few days, uh, the past few TikToks I've made have gotten less than a thousand views each uh, day of and day after, but eventually accumulate enough views to break at least a thousand. Um, but the most interesting thing is that I'm still consistently getting quite a bit of notifications, uh, quite a bit of follows, quite a bit of comments. Um, more regular follows than usual. Um, I like kind of went through and looked at the different notifications and it seems that TikTok is regularly pushing videos from months ago. Um, they are, they're not just pushing, they're pushing videos that I've made like this past few months, but like also videos that I've made literally four or five months ago. Um, they're, just kind of pushing everything on my account right now. Uh, just not the new stuff, which is really weird. Um, I'm not complaining. It's great that, you know, those videos that I'm really proud of are getting views. Um, and it's also kind of funny to see like people's different reactions to those things. Uh, luckily I don't make a ton of trend, uh, trendy videos or, you know, time sensitive videos. So it's really easy for those videos to be pushed and get like interaction because it's still relatable uh, no matter what time of year or a day it is, usually. But uh, I don't know, I just thought that was really interesting uh, and kind of cool to see that like, you know, it's not the videos that blew up the past few weeks, but older videos. Uh, and usually the ones that are blowing up are from like quite a long time ago. Like videos that, uh, you know, didn't even break a thousand views or getting views. Uh, it's just weird. It's just a really weird thing. Um, I was expecting a mission tonight and there wasn't one. Uh, there might be one tomorrow, but I'm not, you know, really worried about it too much. Uh, so yeah. Um, I honestly just keep making videos and, you know, keep having a good time. Uh, I, there is one thing that like, I didn't really mention too much. I didn't really sit and talk about it. Uh, but um, there is a period in the very early days of my YouTube life where uh, I managed to deal with hate comments uh, and just, you know, hatred in general on the internet towards me uh, beforehand. During that period, I was very young and handling it uh, was not really responding via comment, but uh, responding with a YouTube video to gain more views. So, this happened, and that's great. But also, I got a lot of comments. Not a lot, but you know, a lot for me, because I, <laughs> I get no views. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of hateful comments, and I think they're hilarious. So I'm going to read them for you guys and prove them wrong. All right. <clears throat> What an ignorant little flop doodle. You are literally, you literally don't give a flop doodle about anything but smash at the end. You snubbed Okami, but I bet you didn't realize that it was one of the best games that came out on PlayStation 2. And also, one of the highest rating games of all time. Dot dot space. You are literally so uneducated <laughs> on gaming and it hurts my brain. You are probably only uploaded the video to get views because everyone else did.
Haley, he called me a flop doodle. So, a little bit of backstory. I made a YouTube video of me and my sister reacting to the trailer for Smash Brothers Ultimate uh, when we were like, it was, we were like, you know, kids. And, you know, I was excited. And uh, I just kind of posted that and it ended up getting quite a bit of views, if I remember correctly. Uh, and um, I think it actually hold the, it held the record for the most views I've ever obtained for quite some time. Um, but with that, I also got a lot of attention, a lot of comments, a lot of people who even during that era, like age of the internet, you know, bullying people was a lot more prominent. Um, so, you know, getting a lot of like hate comments was just something that I dug into and I used to retaliate making a video. You know, it wasn't the best decision, <laughs> but uh, I, I am now, you know, maturing and growing up and learning, you know, especially with the internet, you know, reading the hate comments and, you know, reading the comments that are, you know, not just enjoying your content that you're creating and just digging into everything bad about it uh, are never a good thing for you. Um, criticism is absolutely good. Uh, and if you deserve criticism, I believe you should be given it. But just straight up hatred and, you know, trying to find everything bad about it is never good for anyone. Not for the person giving it, not for the person receiving it. It's just bad. You know, keeping all that in mind with this, you know, trend of Kuro Chupa, I got quite a bit of people who, you know, didn't do the research, didn't really understand the joke, and it kind of went over their heads. And, you know, with that, I got quite a few people who just didn't understand that I was joking, that I didn't really care, and that wasn't the point of the video. Um, and so I got a lot of hatred from that. But the reason I didn't really mention it and didn't really talk about it is because, like, I don't really care, uh, you know, it's, I'm gonna piss off people, and no matter how hard I try to please people, uh, there will still be people you upset, and that's not a bad thing, that you upset somebody, you know, even if, even if someone's, like, super angry at you, you know, there's still a ton of people more who really enjoy you. There are several people on YouTube, several people who are huge, who, you know, really struggle with people hating on them and, you know, no matter what they do, they can't improve and they get stuck in this mindset that they'll never be good enough. And that's not true. I think a few that I remember just off the top of my head were Rhett from Rhett and Link, uh, how he's mentioned several times in podcasts and Good Mythical Morning and everything, how you know, he just kind of stopped reading the comments because he couldn't take the criticism being so harsh for no reason. He couldn't take the fact that he could say anything and people would be upset, you know, with him. William Osmond almost ended his entire YouTube channel because he just couldn't, like, take people just being mean for no reason. William Osmond is a great YouTuber. Uh, he has one of the most original and creative content on YouTube right now. And, you know, even he deals with that. Um, so, you know, if you're a small creator, if you're a big creator, and you're sitting there thinking, you know, why can't I be good enough or, you know, I need to be better because of this comment, learn the difference between criticism and the difference between hate. Because it's, it's very slight, but it's very important. And I don't know, I just thought that was something I should say because... You know, I I wondered while I was reading these comments, like, why am I not angry? Why do I not, you know, feel filled with this rage that I should probably have? And it's like, it's not because, you know, this person deserve it or, you know, that comment didn't piss me off or upset me. You know, it's because it's just a guy, you know, it's just a guy on the internet. And whether he liked it or not, he still enjoyed my video, at least I hope, and, you know, he still took time to write something out and say it to me. And Grayson, Grayson 32 episodes ago, wouldn't even think that he would be anywhere in the position where he would have anyone talking to him. And Grayson, four years ago, wouldn't believe the journey that I've gone on just this year. And... 
to sit and think that that silly little comment or comments upset me is just, at least for me, goofy. And very happy, very happy right now. Just, like, this is crazy. And it's just crazy. <coughs> Going through and looking at my views, like I mentioned last night, uh, there were a few that were trending, and I didn't really get into detail about which ones were trending. So I just kind of wanted to sit down and uh, talk about which ones were trending. Uh, before I jump over there to do that, um, I made a TikTok last night. It was like 12, 12, 31 ish. And uh, the TikTok was, uh, it was a really funny audio. And I just genuinely was like, I want to make this right now. I had the time. I think it's funny. And I think it would do a good amount of views no matter what. Uh, and, you know, posting at a specific time has not really worked. And so, you know, I'm not sure if I want to keep posting at the same time or if I want to kind of just shoot for like a window. Um, the two windows that I'm kind of aiming to shoot for are <clears throat> 12 to 2 a.m. Uh, and then 11 to 2 p.m. Uh, those two times have been the most consistent with uh, like good amount of views coming from them. So I think that's what I'm going to shoot for uh, view wise. But uh, last night I posted it from like 12, 31 ish. Um, but the TikTok was uh, me uh, making a grilled cheese as my like fifth meal uh, in the last three days. Uh, it was a joke uh, because I was making a grilled cheese. It kind of, honestly to me, it gave off the same vibes that um, the ramen video made that I made of, in January of this year. Um, that one got 4 million views. Uh, but it it just gave off the same vibe as this one that I was just kind of making my dinner and I thought like this is a relatable thing that people can relate with, uh, especially just because it's an easy meal to make. And so I went ahead and uh, posted it. <clears throat> um, this morning I woke up to a large amount of comments on my notification, which usually is a good sign. Uh, looking at it, uh, it was sitting at 5,000 views when I woke up this morning around like 11. Uh, and then by 1130, it was sitting at 10,000. By now, it's sitting at 16,000. So it's growing pretty rapidly within the last uh, two hours, uh, which is not a bad sign. I think it, once it hits 10K and it doesn't stop, uh, at least 50,000. And if it hits 50,000, at least 100,000. Uh, you know, watching it is really something that I will be doing today. But um, that's cool. That's great that uh, I finally got a video that's kicking up again. Uh, especially after having three, four videos in consecutive order that barely broke a thousand. It's nice to get that jump up again. Um, <clears throat> but I've been getting a lot of comments on it, a lot of people tagging other people and a lot of shares. That is a really good sign. That means that people are interacting with it enough for TikTok to push it more. Uh, so hopefully that keeps happening. Um, other than that, though, um, not much has really happened today. Uh, I mean, that's really good that that's happening and view-wise is pretty dope. Uh, but I kind of wanted to just jump over here and look at uh, the different analytics of everything that I've been working on, uh, especially because this week was pretty crazy the last three weeks. So I was going to look at uh, just what's trending right now and then look at the last three weeks because of the Koopa Troopa uh, trilogy that happened uh, that I want to see how that affected my channel on YouTube, my channel on TikTok and really see what that looks like. So, yeah. Okay, so starting with uh, the trending videos on TikTok right now is what I'm going to go ahead and do first. Um, I'll start from least to most. So it looks like the ones that are trending um, on November 15th, TikTok posted uh, the Koopa Troopa one that I made. That was the one I made about how uh, it was on Twitter, YouTube, and Reels. That one didn't get that many views or comments. That one was just kind of a throw off. Uh, I'm not surprised that one didn't get a crazy amount of views. Uh, going up, uh, it looks like the ramen noodle one that I was just talking about uh, gained another 1,000 views. Uh, that post is from December 13th of 2021. I thought it was in January. Wow. Um, so that's almost a year-old video getting views. That is 
wild. I mean, it got millions of views and it's not like time sensitive, but like that's funny that that video is still getting a decent amount of views. Uh, it looks like the Dolingo bird video that trended in April got a thousand views. Um, that one was freaking a long time ago. That was back when I started this series. Uh, <clears throat> and then it looks like the uh, first um, Koopa Troopa video that I made uh, gained 2,000 views. Uh, and then it also looks like the content re-upload that I made gained 3,000 views, which is more than the original Koopa Troopa video. Uh, and then the Queen Elizabeth video passing uh, surprisingly gained 4,000 views. That one's really weird, um, just because, like, that one was very time-sensitive. Um, that one is consistently getting quite a bit of views weekly, uh, and I don't really know why. Uh, it looks like the Joji La La Land mix that I made has gained 9,000 views. Um, that one is a really emotional one that I made. Uh, that one I'm actually pretty proud of, and it getting, you know, the most amount of views this week is pretty dope. Um, it looks like the, uh, me starting percent 50 of people getting mad at me on TikTok. I, I misspelled it, uh, because I'm homeschooled and stupid. Um, that one got, uh, looks like 10,000 views. And then the original, uh, TikTok that blew up last week has gained 42,000 views. Um, so it's now sitting at 444,000.1 views. And comments are still kind of blowing off on that one, mostly because people are just arguing about whether or not um, it was original, uh, which I have done all I can to prove that it was, so I'm not even going to try. Um, but video view-wise, you know, that's a really good amount of, of attention on a year-old video too now. Like, that pretty consistently goes through... Um, I mean, that consistently goes through... All of my videos that I've made the past few years, or the past year, uh, and TikTok's really pushing those, which would make sense why I've been getting a lot more following, a lot more attention. Uh, I think it looks like... <sighs> Consistently, I've just been going up in following since November 14th. Like, quite a bit have I just been rising more and more daily. Um, which is pretty dope. It looks like within the last 60 days, I've had 2,241,000 views uh, just in the last 60 days. Uh, profile views, I've gotten 42,000. Following-wise, I've gotten not, not that. Um, Likes-wise, I've gotten 220,000. Uh, comments, 2,000. Shares, 3,000. Um, that is a lot of views um, just for 60 days. It's pretty wild. Um, that's a little over the three weeks for the trilogy of the Koopa Troopas, but uh, I think that shows enough of like, okay, this is where it's going. Um, and following wise, it's just an up curve. Like we're not stooping down on the slightest. It's pretty consistently going up on TikTok. So growth wise, uh, it looks like at least for now, we're doing pretty good. Looking at the chart of views, you can see a pretty decent uh, upline of... Uh, what is this? October. This is in September to November. So there's a pretty deep, you know, emptiness in between right here. Um, but that jump right there is pretty decent. Close to that one. I think this was the Walmart video right here. That got that many views. I'm not I'm not sure if I remember correctly. But you can see a pretty decent decline and then upline. Um, and that really is just what I describe every time I make this series that you know, there's just a really, like, in-between phase of just, like, emptiness, and, you know, there's no consistent, like, reason for that. So, jumping over from TikTok to YouTube, so I've gained 170 views, watch time is 8 hours, uh, it looks like on November 10th, whenever that, uh, TikTok was trending, I got 38 views in that one day, uh, that was the most views I've had in one day in quite a time, like, quite, quite a while. Um, but that's a pretty decent amount of, like, you know, YouTube views. Uh, obviously, episode 30 being the one that trended the most uh, in that period. Uh, episode 29 being the second video. And then Spongebob Cheetah Pet Investigation being the third. Content, episode 31 being the fourth. And then Spongebob Cheetah Pet being the fifth. Knocking the Cheetah Pets down with content 
is my goal. Um, those videos are great. Don't get me wrong, but they should not be at the top. Um, if, if my YouTube channel is good enough for attention from YouTube, my old videos shouldn't be the ones trending every week. It should be my new ones. And so seeing, seeing that 30 and 29 and 31 are in the top four, is pretty dope. <clears throat> 28 is also six, and then one is number seven. So for Les Celeste, uh, four episodes of content are doing really, really good view-wise, and that's dope. Um, so, and I think episode 32, it's probably going to jump up there. It's number eight right now. Um, but seeing those kind of kick off uh, the attention view-wise on everything is really nice and I really like seeing that so that's pretty freaking dope um so heck yeah that's nice mm. <coughs> uh, so it's like 12 of 5 right now um the tiktok I posted last night is currently sitting at 250,000 views uh which is really good uh, that's a great amount of views, uh, especially for right now, so that's super dope. Um, the TikTok mission page right now is kind of glitching out. I was going to check and see if there's a mission, and it's not even loading the whole page. I'm not sure if it's updating or if they're adding one on to it, uh, but for right now, I can't see anything. Um, but there's still instructions on how to do missions, and I still have access to everything, so I'm not blocked from it. Um, so I'm just going to kind of watch that. But uh, I guess... I'll keep watching that until it updates, um, but yeah, it's a great amount of views for less than 24 hours. Uh, that's that's pretty dope, um, but I'm super tired, kind of get up early, so uh, I'm going to make sure there's no missions, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit the hay, but yeah. <laughs> So, um, the TikTok that, uh, hit 200k last, uh, was it Monday? Um, it's currently sitting at 800k, uh, which is crazy. That's great. That's a great amount of views, especially for, you know, just one of my TikToks. Uh, I've gained quite a bit of following from it. I'm sitting at 19.5 thousand followers. Uh, I might hit 20k this week, which would be really cool. Uh, that's another really big like jump for me. Um, 10k was one of them, and 2k would be the uh, 20k would be the next one. Um, both of those are really cool. Uh, it's super exciting. Um, on top of that, the TikTok mission page has still been glitched out. Um, I have messaged them. I got a notification about one of my missions not being accepted, um, so I know missions are still at least roughly happening but i'm not sure why uh it's not showing any history of missions for me or anything i'm not sure if i like got disqualified which i'm not sure what i did to do that because i've had missions and i've been you know working on them and i'm, I'm not really sure what happened there um so i'll have to kind of look into that a little deeper um but i'm off today and i'm off tomorrow yesterday was pretty busy i was able to make a tiktok last night uh it was like just a funny Among Us audio. Um, and so I made that it's sitting at like 400 views right now. Um, I think it's going to do what TikTok did last week where I posted like four videos and all of them got less than a thousand. And it's going to tell me to promote them. And then they'll boost one of my videos again. And I'll get, you know, half a million views, whatever. Hopefully. But either way, um, that consistency of views is really nice and growth is really nice. Uh, and I really like seeing that. Um, but, uh, I honestly, I'm just going to kind of look for like different TikTok audios today. Um, today is like the only day in a really long time where I've had like nothing to do. Um, so I, I want to, I want to make some stuff if something comes along, but also I want to make sure that I'm not pushing myself, uh, too far. I, I want to make sure that like, you know, I'm, I'm resting enough. Um, so I will be doing that. Um. But, uh, yeah, that's crazy. That's a crazy start of the day. Um, I, if it's still going, so there is a chance that that video could hit, you know, a million views, which would be cool. Um, and if it hits a million and it keeps going, then it could hit two million, and then it could hit three, and then it could hit four, and then it could hit five. You know, it's, it, it really does 
depend on. So, you know, we're really watching that to see how that goes. But um, it's cool to see that that, you know, TikTok that, you know, even I said, you know, kind of gives off the same vibe as the ramen noodle one that blew up. Like, that's cool to see that it is blowing up. Um, you know, it's that same just like kind of relatable funny content that I shoot for. And sometimes I'm not relatable and I get it. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's I'm just kind of looking for stuff to do today and uh, kind of just relax and, you know, work on a few different projects, writing some stuff, hopefully. But yeah. I know the lighting is crude right now, but um, this isn't exactly the uh, spot I'm going to be at for the next few minutes. Um, but I'm about to start editing the first cut of this episode, and uh, I checked my following, and I'm currently sitting at 19.9 uh, with 950 followers. So I'm 50 followers away right now from 20,000 followers, which is crazy. Um, I mean, 20,000 followers is so many people and it, it's a it's a mark that like when I started the series I didn't think we'd be hitting um it's a mark that I didn't think I would hit at all and uh it's really crazy but um we also hit two million likes today um so that's two things at once uh 20,000 followers and two million likes within the same week That's crazy, that's, you know, I mean, I know there are people who have a million likes um, just on one post and people who have millions of followers and like 20,000 followers to them is nothing, but to me, that is crazy. Like, like that's insane and that's, I just, it's just crazy, but, uh, I'm gonna watch the live count of the following, uh, and hopefully be able to record my reaction to that, um, but I just, yeah, it's crazy, um, so I'm gonna start editing this, and I'll check it periodically while I'm editing, when it gets close, I'll, uh, go ahead and, um, you know, but, Officially Turkey Day, and um, I hit 20,000 followers, at least by TikTok standards. Uh, they're rounding up uh, like 41 followers right now, but um, yeah, that is crazy. Um, I'm like halfway through editing content for this week um, that I'm going to try to upload by tomorrow, but um, I'm going to go ahead and make some coffee because uh, I'm tired and I'm craving it and, you know, I, I can make it because, you know, I'm me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make a batch, but uh, that's cool that that's, you know, happening. Uh, one thing that, like, I feel like people forget about creators is that, like, we can choose our hours, but for the most part, uh, especially if you're doing something like I'm doing, which is a weekly series where you're documenting everything every day, you know, days off uh, of normal work are, you know, I'm off, but I'm still doing this. Um, you know, when I say, oh, I'm off that day, uh, I'm still usually regularly making content for you. It feels second like nature to make this at this point to where it, it feels wrong for me to not do it. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to make some coffee and then I'm going to keep editing. But, um, yeah, that's crazy. <clears throat> Video-wise, uh, the grilled cheese TikTok that I made is uh, 90, I think it was 980,000 views right now. Um, expectedly, especially with everyone being off for Thanksgiving, uh, which is today, I expect it to at least hit a million views. Um, it doesn't show any signs of slowing down, neither does my following. Uh, growing from that, I've been getting about a thousand a night, um, which is really, really good following. Um, and that is 
a crazy big blessing for me to have and it's really something to be thankful for uh, not to be cheesy but you know it is thanksgiving so i'll try not to uh to give like a huge uh, i'm thankful speech but uh genuinely i'm incredibly thankful for you um i'm incredible incredibly thankful for the following of people i have on this site um i think it's it's crazy to me how a follower on TikTok and a subscriber on YouTube are two very different things. And I probably wouldn't be as thrilled to be getting followers on TikTok if it wasn't for this series. And um, I don't feel empty whenever I hit a, a mark like this because of this series and because of you. And, you know, I really hope that you know how important that is to me, that we have this um, community to build. Um, so thank you so much now uh getting through all the mushy stuff there are a few more things that i kind of wanted to tackle and talk about um yesterday i said i was going to get a few things done uh, i was actually able to get a few things done one of them being linktree so linktree is something that i use quite a bit for other creators and navigating other creators content without even realizing how important it is i've been using it um, I, I genuinely don't know how I've gone this far without using it and making one. Um, basically what it is, is an app or a website where uh, you can have one singular link that will lead to several different links. So like a tree has roots, it is a root of all of your different links to all of your different content. Um, so I'm able to make a website uh, domain for free. Uh, with you know a link to my YouTube channel, Instagram, and content the YouTube series, very easily from TikTok to that. Um, it's very direct. It shows exactly what you're clicking. Um, you know, a lot of people use it for a lot of different reasons. A lot of different creators use it for a lot of different reasons. But it's a really good way to build my Instagram and YouTube and TikTok and everything basically. Um, so I was able to make a really cool website that people can connect to um, and it was customizable and everything and I just really haven't had time to do it and it's been on my to-do list. So I was able to do that today uh, and I'm really proud of it. It actually looks really dope. I love the style and the font and everything about it. Uh, fits perfectly. Um, you'll notice when I edited this uh, episode right in the beginning it said content the series. Um, that is not going to be in every intro. That is specifically for this one. Uh, mainly because uh, I'm moving from calling this a documentary series uh, to just a series. Um, it is still a very clear documentation, but I feel like we're moving past the documentary. We're moving past the documentary genre to more of a you know how to people uh, like series. It's it genuinely I feel like the series has changed in the past 32 episodes from, you know, just me recording different things to me having points and having a idea of what I want this to be per episode. And I think it still has a very unique style to it, but I think calling it a documentary series will limit what this series could become as a whole. And so I've made that decision to cut that off. I've slowly made that transition over time but officially, uh, it is now just the series, not documentary series. Um, so, yeah. It's also, for like marketing-wise, it's a lot easier to write that out in the title. Uh, it's a lot more eye-catching, and it makes more sense. So, um, I think starting this off as a documentary was the right move. And I think definitely the first 10 episodes are that. And like, especially like episode one you know, it very clearly is like a documentary style episode. And so that is a really nice introduction to this series. But um, I, I don't see, you know, it being that style of a series anymore. So just kind of wanted to address those things. Um, today, you know, it's, it's like one in the morning right now. Um, I do not know how uh, this will look. I don't know if I'll be able to record. I don't know if this will be the last one. Uh, I just have like Thanksgiving lunch and then after that I'm free. 
but um, I'm most likely will be pretty busy throughout the day periodically. <sighs> Making a TikTok wise, I'm not sure if I will. Um, mostly because it seems like the TikTok I posted today, the TikTok I posted today about uh, waking up to my alarm and having to go to work early in the morning uh, is seeming to get a lot more views overnight. Uh, it jumped from like 300 to almost 1,000 in like an hour. So I'll watch that one. If it doesn't do too great, I might send out a third TikTok in the past 48 hours just to kind of keep that ball rolling. Um, but especially with, you know, the grilled cheese one hitting a million almost and, you know, those two seemingly gaining more views, uh, I don't want to push those out of the spotlight. So uh, I'm not really sure how that will be navigated. Um, but we'll just have to see. Um, most of this episode is done and finished. Uh, my editing style is quite interesting when it comes to this series because, uh, especially for the past two weeks, I've focused on editing everything Wednesday and then finishing it off on Thursday, checking over everything and then sending it out. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. But uh, for now, at least, I don't see us moving past where we are right now this week. But um, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. It's a daffy cat. Look at her. She's like just smiling. She's living life to the fullest. I'm just waiting for them to start fighting because it usually ends in a fight. Nope. I had to get one in for yourself. I can't tell if she's like satisfied or if she's like upset that it's over. Are you upset, Ranger? You upset? <laughs>